Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I am going to be opening my Royal Canine Kitten Pack and I'm really excited. So firstly I just want to say that this video... That was my bird and still my bird. This video was not sponsored. I decided to buy this for my own money. It cost um, £6.99, £7. Um, and it also says that the contents are worth over £25, which is amazing, like this is just saving me so much more money. So it says here, dry and wet food from four months to a year. Now my kitten is nine weeks old, but we are currently on whiskers, so I know that you have to wean them onto specific food. I didn't really buy the pack for the food itself, I bought it for the toys that it came with, because it came with a bowl, a little ball, a blanket and a tunnel and I just thought it was really cute so that's kind of why I bought it but I may try her on the food I just didn't want her to get an upset stomach so I'll definitely be trying to wean her on and then weaning her on different food but if I do like this then I'll definitely keep buying it. Here is Indy right now she kind of um really likes to just sit um around it and she's laying down right now so she's kind of enjoying this and she's just sitting right by it just having um a scratch so there you go so this is just kind of um okay just kind of showing you what it contains so you could probably read it from here i'm so sorry that i decided to film in this room but it doesn't matter so it tells you that it has um 400 gram per bag of the dry food three kitten 85 gram pouches a kitten bowl which is actually quite helpful i do have two already but it might be a nice to have um, a bowl for the dry food um it comes with a kitten blanket a kitten catnip bowl which i really wanted a kitten tunnel kitten guide and product leaflet which i'll be reading so i'm going to go ahead and just open this to show you guys what it has in this is it just from looking so i'm going to just take everything out one by one so I can show you, it's red and I love red, it's really cute and vibrant and just like a nice colour and the blanket looks like it's going to be soft which I was hoping for and not just like a towel kind of feel so I'm really excited to see how it feels. So these are the leaflets, um, so the essential guide which um, is the one on my left is really full and it just looks amazing. I said my left but I think it's both of our left so I'm sorry about that. Um, and the healthy nutrition guide is also pretty big. I wasn't expecting them to be like this. I thought they'd be like maybe one or two pages of just basic facts, but it actually is really full and I might read a bit or just show you so you can read it and pause the video if you want to. And it also gave me this little thing so I have a chance of winning a bunch of products, which I'll show you now. I'm not going to show you the back because it has my special code on. But um, you can win stuff like this. They look amazing. I would totally go for the Fitbit or the um, iRobot Roomba vacuuming robot for the cat. And the the behaviour monitor. Any one of them looks awesome. And actually the feeder actually looks quite cool. So I'd definitely be trying to win those. I kid you not. This is like a genuine book. It's really thick. I've actually read full on books smaller than this. Like thinner than this shall I say. So, I'm sorry that the camera's kind of all weird. And this is also thick. It's not as thick as um, the other one, obviously, but like for a leaflet, wow, that is amazing. This is the catnip ball. It's really quite squishy. I'm going to take it out of the plastic and just kind of feel it so that you can kind of see that it is quite fluffy and nice. So this is it. It's really, really squidgy. I really love that about it. She already has a ball and she's obsessed with it, so... I'm really glad it came with a ball because she I can already tell she's going to be in love with this and I'm going to introduce her to it to see how she reacts. Okay, she might go off camera but I'll just try and follow her with it if she does. Oh. Not interested so far. Okay, there we go, getting into the play zone. She plays pretty rough with the other ball, so but that that's because it has a ball inside. This has catnip in. Um unfortunately I don't think you can refill it. I thought I could because I had some catnip I would fill it with. <laughs> but no, I think she actually is having a little bit of fun. And I think she'll be she'll get a bit rougher with it once she's had a little bit more time playing with it. Really sorry she keeps going out of the camera's view. Okay. Okay, she's going really for it quite now. 
Yeah, she's just biting it. That's good. Whilst Dimity's playing with her ball, I decided I'd show you the dry kitten food. And this is what it looks like. So I just bought it a little bit closer in case you couldn't see. And I'll show you the back. And I think it is um, an easy open. And I'm not sure if it um, closes back up again. I'll check. So no, it doesn't have the seal that the others tend to have, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't matter because I doubt that I'll be using this as a proper food from now on. The camera isn't catching the words too well, but if you want to buy one of these, then it's up to you. Um, but definitely read into the pack before you buy it, and it kind of tells you the recommended daily quantities, which I think that first time pet owners should definitely have but once you get into the groove of looking after your cat you'll feel a little bit more comfortable feeding her or him. This is a royal canine kitten food, um, wet food and it says gravy salsa. It says kittens up to 12 months. Um, it says feline health nutrition. Thin slices and gravy in case you wanted to see how big they were. This is just a little more information also some more feeding instructions which is very useful. And then also in case you wanted to see kind of the ingredients, different languages too, which is also very helpful. If you want to, you can pause and just have a read. Next I'm going to open the bowl. It's quite small but it's deep, where the bowls I'm using now aren't very deep and whenever I have water in they spill. So this could be better for the water um, as it's a little bit deeper but we'll see judging the size of it. So it's really cute, it says Royal Canine on the inside, and it's got a little crown, and it's just simple, just mirrored, nothing to it. You can see my kitten playing kind of to the side. The underside isn't really as mirrored, but it has a grip, which is really good because I like to keep my bowls in my kitchen, or if I have them in my room, I have a little tray anyway so they don't slip, so a grip is just amazing. It is a lot deeper than my other bowls. I definitely will be using this and I'll either use it as a dry food bowl or my water bowl. It's actually really helpful and good. So here it says it's an ant proof bowl which is really helpful because we sometimes get ants um, in the summer when we leave the doors open and this shows it's got dry food so I'll probably use it more for the food or um, maybe the water but I think it's probably best being for the food but yeah that's awesome. Now is the moment of truth. I really want to feel the blanket. If it's soft, I will literally be so happy because we have a couple blankets for her, but most of the blankets are towels, so they aren't very soft. They're just something to keep her warm at night, where we do have um, a little bed for her, and we've ordered a proper, much larger bed from the internet, and I hope it comes soon because it's really cute. But I'm going to open this, and I'm literally hoping it's soft. Okay, so it's not too soft. Um, it is pretty soft, but not as soft as I was hoping from the looks of it. It would, like, it would just be really lovely and you could like see your handprint, but it's nothing like that. It's just a simple blanket, but I definitely think it will keep her warm at night. So that's really helpful. It's really big. It's so big in comparison to her. She's crawling towards it now, so you'll kind of get an idea of how much bigger it is than her. I'll just place her now. Yeah, <laughs> so she's already sitting down on it. Sorry about my finger in the way. Nope, now she's off. It's actually pretty soft now that it's all laid out. Um, It feels really comfy. It'll probably wrap around like this top half of you. So if you wanted to cuddle her in the blanket, if it was a cold night, this would be really good. It's not really been cold the past few nights, but in the winter time, this will be just amazing. It says it's for kittens, but this would definitely cover an old cat. I'm really happy with this. It also has a tassel so if you want to fold it back up it folds with ease rather than just laying it around your room wherever. So I will definitely use this and I love it. Now last we have the thing that I was very excited for. It is the tunnel. It doesn't look like it's going to be very big but it's going to be just big enough for her to have a little play with. Um, I was really excited for this. It just looks really cute from what I'm seeing right now. And let's just get into it because I really want to see it. So it truly isn't that big and it's very crinkly and noisy. It kind of scared my birds so I was trying to just open it with as little sound as I could. It's like ASMR kind of. 
Um, I'm gonna put my kitten through it. This isn't very big, so an adult cat might only use this to sleep in it. It would make a, a good hide. Um, but for a kitten, this would be a haven. They would absolutely love to play in this, I can tell. I'm gonna try Indy with it now. So she's behind, I just wanna see if she'll come through on her own. So if you can see her, she's right at the back. I think she's kind of just a little bit nervous. <laughs> so the ball looks like it's going to get played with a lot. I think she's a little bit nervous still. Just taking her time, which is all right. This thing is definitely going to be one of those things that just keeps rolling away. So she definitely likes a little pom-pom in there. But I think the whole tunnel kind of just scares her a little bit. But she's I think she's going to go in again. So these are all the products. I really like them. I love how they came. And I love that they're red, pink and grey. Just really lovely colours. And yeah, I'll definitely be using these. And I will show the tunnel and other things in the bowl um <laughs> in the bowl as well in videos i will definitely use them i'll try the food um just to see if she likes it um i'm currently using um a product called ava which is helping her because when she came to us she wasn't feeling too good so we wanted to build up her immune system again and whiskers is what we'll be weaning her on after we finish the ava we're gonna slowly wean her on so she doesn't get um, a bad stomach but I will try the canine food and see whether or not she likes it whether it agrees with her because some products can be too rich or not have the things that they need in it so definitely do your research you might have to test a few products and make sure you wean them off the product and onto another one because you just don't want to just completely move them to another product of food because it can really hurt the stomach and that's also why you shouldn't give a kitten just pure milk. You have to get kitten milk. Um, we actually had to stop giving... I'm sorry about the birds. We actually had to stop giving Indy kitten milk because it was giving her a really bad stomach ache. And um, just, yes, she wasn't acting very well. Um, but since we stopped giving it to her, she's a lot better. Um, but thank you for watching the video. I'm sorry it was so long. I didn't think it would be this long. Thank you if you stayed all this time. And... I might even give this code away um, in one of my other videos, so if you think I should comment below, uh, I'm not going to activate it until I get some comments saying whether I should or not, um, but yeah, anybody who comments I might just give it to you straight away, so thank you for watching the video, please like, subscribe, comment, um, turn the notification bell on I guess, and yeah, just thank you for watching, I hope that you feel a little bit more confident in buying some products for your kittens. I do recommend this, but I probably wouldn't um, use the food because I think it only has six bowls worth of it and it's going to be really hard to wean them with only six bowls worth. So maybe just use the dry food as like a treat, give it now and again. And the wet food, there's really not much that in the bags. I get more in my other products. But if you want to just buy it for the toys and the blanket like I did, and for the care guides as well, they actually look amazing, I'll be reading them straight away, then yeah, go ahead and buy it. But if you want it for the food as well, just make sure to wean them off if you don't want to keep them on this product. Thank you for watching the video, and goodbye.